What's up guys, Barrex here, I hope you have a fantastic day today, and today it's not going to be a gaming video, that's going to be two more days, and um, I'm sorry for not uploading yesterday, I was so freaking busy, and I was like so bummed out at the end of the day, I was like, man, I can't upload a video tonight, it's going to be too late, and I'm too tired, it was like, it, it sucked guys, but trust me, I really, I really did want to upload, and... I'm trying to keep my upload streak consistent, but just it just doesn't ever go right. So um, today it's not gonna be a gaming video. I'm gonna show you guys how to make your voice sound better using Audacity and this other download that is that is really safe. Trust me, guys, it's really safe, and I use it, and I'm using it right now. The only reason my voice doesn't sound like as as good as it usually does is because I'm using just the Sing Voice Meter and OBS. So I'm just using OBS and Voice Meter. I mean, it does sound better than OBS's actual like default voice, whatever. Like this Blue Snowball's default. The first thing you have to go to is the first link. And it's probably it's gonna be this one, VB Audio Voice Meter. So if you don't have this already, you're gonna have you're gonna scroll down to the Minecraft thing, hit download now. It's gonna download on your uh, web browser if you have Google Chrome. Uh, it doesn't matter. Second link is VB Audio Virtual Apps. Uh, this is literally it, you don't even have to go to the second link. It's right here, virtual audio cable. So after this link, and you're done downloading that, go to virtual audio cable, and it'll take you to this other one. And you're just gonna scroll down until you see this orange download. You're gonna download that. It's gonna take pretty sure. Oh no, I don't. No, 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 no. Pause. No, I don't. I'm not. All right, whatever. So, um, it would take you to that. You just download that, and it goes right on your red browser, as you just saw there. So we don't need those anymore. And what you're going, to, what you guys are gonna do, you guys are gonna go into your downloads. So it's gonna show you all your downloads. I have my downloads. Um, I define them first. Now I have WinRAR. If you don't have WinRAR, it's probably not gonna work. I'll try to link. I'll, I'll try to leave a link in the description. But so you're gonna set up your VB audio cable first or whatever. All right. Yeah, you're gonna set up your VB audio cable first. You're gonna double click it. No, get out of here. Oh wait, no, you're not gonna double click it. You're gonna take it onto your, you're gonna desktop. Okay, replace file on destination. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit um, extract here, and it's gonna take this, take this file out, VB cable, whatever that you see this folder. Okay. When you double click on this, what you're gonna do is you're gonna scroll all the way down until you see the VB cable setup, and then set up uh, times 54 x 54. The this is for 64 bit is the 64 the x64 of course and the other ones for 32-bit PCs so if you guys do have a 64-bit for which most of you probably do have a 64-bit then um, you're gonna click that you're gonna download the application it says it's gonna say for me it's gonna say remove driver for you guys it's gonna say install driver and you're gonna install it and once you have that installed you're all good should you go you're all ready and then you're gonna go and do the same thing for voice meter find their voice meter double click it and just install that on there and when you get everything ready this is literally this is what it is so um, this is what it looks like and what you guys are gonna do you're gonna mute these two middle ones so the hardware input number two and virtual input you're going to mute those then on this one, the hardware out. You're all you're gonna do is just hit stereo repeat on both of those, and you'll be good. And up here, A1, you're just gonna hit um, on your WDM cable input VB audio virtual cable. And for this, your microphone, you down just WDM. Don't use the M M E. No, don't you don't use those. Use the WDM. And what you're gonna do is just gonna click your microphone easy headset doesn't matter and this is literally probably the heart of making your voice sound good now I have it on a setting right here you could like move it around like this you can move it around now my voice probably sounds deeper I can't tell because I'm not listening it's not like live monitoring but it might sound deeper I had it around like right here but if you guys do download like audio cables, just look up uh, on Google or something, voice meter audio documents or something, something like that, and it would probably pop up. And if you do have an audio document, like I have this one right here, and I also have this one by Prodigy, and his, he uses his really high, so I really don't use his, but this is 
the audio document that I use and what you do when you have it on here you go to menu load settings and then it's gonna be here so next thing you guys want to use is audacity I'll leave a link in the description I'll pull here I'll just pull it up right now I really didn't uh, do this but what you guys gonna do you're just gonna follow with me audacity I didn't even spell that right and it will type up just download go to download and then you want for Windows duh you're gonna click the Windows you're gonna download it it's gonna be easy piece of cake and so what I do when I start recording with audacity audacity is free everything's fine everything on here is free of course I'm not a big YouTube channel so I want to buy stuff that I really don't need this free stuff gets me going so um you're gonna wait about five seconds and that just wait for five seconds to talk and I'll show you guys why you do that so uh, let's just wait five seconds and I'm gonna say a sentence and I'm gonna show you guys what it sounds like without my voice meter and then with my voice meter so hey what's up guys Barrick here I hope you have a fantastic day today alright so I just said my intro literally I had to wait five seconds it's not that bad so uh, we're just gonna play this from here to show you guys what it sounds like just raw audio nothing nothing fixed up or anything hey what's up guys Barracks here I hope you have a fantastic day today that's horrible that's honestly so bad now if you guys don't want to use voice meter and you you can't seem to get it working then don't worry I I will show you guys what to do right now you're gonna start you're gonna click right before your audio actually starts and you're just gonna highlight everything before that that you waited your five seconds for click effect noise reduction and leave everything the same it should be 12 6.00 and then frequency smoothing bands is zero and noise is reduced hit get noise profile at the top highlight just by double clicking it all effect and then it's gonna say repeat noise reduction right here you're just gonna click that it's gonna go through everything and now your audio back here is totally silence and that's gonna be throughout the whole thing for right here that's just my breathing but let's go listen to it again hey what's up guys barracks here I hope you having a fantastic day today it doesn't it doesn't increase like it doesn't make my voice sound any better but it does remove like the background noise so double click it again now we're gonna make our voice sound better by actually like messing with these other effects so uh, what I usually do first is go to a uh, compressor and I leave everything usually the same I think it's default 15 but all I changed was this was 18 if you have a, a not the best quality microphone I have a blue snowball if you guys have not the best quality microphone I would go probably about 10 decibels negative 10 decibels but I'm using negative 18 and if you use a blue Yeti it's probably gonna be like around here or negative 20 something around there everything else same settings and just hit OK now that compresses our stuff down a little bit more uh, effect my friend just texted me but um you go equalization and I have my default stuff on here if you want to copy this down all I have to do is click or let me just show you what I did was bass boost and I um, if you guys don't want to use voice meter I would rather do this it would just go bass boost down on the select curve you click bass boost and it will give you this and you just hit OK now I'm just gonna do this with you because I'm not using audacity on this on um audacity right I'm not using voice meter on audacity right now so I'm just gonna do this with you guys if you don't want to use a, a voice meter equalization you're gonna go um, treble boost now instead of bass boost and you're gonna hit OK leave everything in default settings and then effect normalize I usually do depending on how high your audio is see mine's pretty high so I'm either gonna I'm just gonna um, hit OK and if I don't like how like um, small my audio lines are or whatever those are called I'm gonna go back hit control Z to redo it or this these arrows up top and or undo it and then um, I'm gonna do negative three because I usually do negative one or negative three um, I guess that's pretty good I mean 
I can show you guys what the other things are for this. Well, the last thing we're going to do for it is hard limiter. And this actually takes off like the the hard parts, not the hard parts, what am I saying? The the really high line. So see this line right here? It's going to get it's going to cut that. So all you're going to do is just change the dB limit to negative 3 decibels. Hit apply. It's going to cut it to make it all equal and then you're good. So this is my audio um, after Hey, what's up guys? Barracks here. I hope you're having a fantastic day today. Now you can mess around the settings a little bit more, but I'm going to delete this and I'm going to show you guys what my audio usually sounds like using um, voice meter. So I'm going to click up top the microphone. I'm going to use a voice meter output. It says voice meter output right here. I'm going to change it to that. And then I'm going to hit record, wait five seconds, start talking, say my intro, whatever. And then we're going to go from there. What's up guys, Barrick Zero, I hope you have a fantastic day today. Alright, so this is my audio, and as you can see, we have way more background noise than we did last time with my just regular blue snowball. So we're just going to listen to it, and then we're going to just listen to the regular audio. What's up guys, Barrick Zero, I hope you have a fantastic day today. Now this audio actually sounds almost as good as the audio we just edited and everything. So what we're going to do right now is just the same thing we're going to do the noise removal or the noise reduction go here get noise profile double click it and just hit repeat noise profile see how better this is, see how much like this how bet we're going to see how much of a difference it makes and how good the audio actually sounds after the noise reduction what's up guys Barrick zero if I have a fan so the back the background noise it, it, um, if you take that out, if you don't have a fan, you can't have a fan in the background like full blast right towards your microphone because that would mess it up. But if you have like a little bit of background noise, maybe your parents are talking in the background, this would be really easy just to take out. So just double click it again and we're going to do the same things. I do compressor, negative 18 decibels, does everything down. Then equalization, but this is where I do my unnamed one and just like where I fix it up a little bit. I took the bass boost and I brought it from this little point and I brought it down to three because I didn't want it too bassy I already had it bass enough from voice meter and I just wanted a little bit more bass more like presence past this 400 right here and I just took it up or no I clicked it I clicked right here and on the 400 it hurts and then next to it I, I did another click and brought it up to about three point no almost about under under like it was under six I don't know why I'm stuttering but yeah that's what I do so I keep it around there and then I hit OK and it does it all for me like that and then I do normalize negative one I tell you it varies but I'm gonna actually hit control Z effect normalize I'm gonna do negative three just to show you guys like the difference and actually what it does hit OK and see it made it smaller because I really to be honest I honestly don't um, like to use hard limiter but I mean I have to sometimes so I used it I don't know if it actually took away anything but we're gonna it's like the audio is all done and complete I'm gonna show you guys I'm gonna let you listen to see what it actually sounds like now what's up guys Barrick Zero I have a fantastic day today alright guys so yeah that's literally how I do my audio see so, yeah, you guys if you enjoyed this video make sure to smash the like button and subscribe for more I'm out peace everybody wanna make millions but not everybody been working everybody know they got brilliance but not everybody been searching everybody rap about money and hoes but they got neither everybody knows always been keeping the real every time that I spit in the flow I've been going to get it they not gonna forget it I've been going up they've been staying afloat my music been personal telling my stories I'm telling the truth